Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having a great day for today. As the title states in episode 4, we're going to be teaching you guys on how to install slash play original Xbox games off your internal hard drive or your external hard drive. And this method does work with RG8 slash JTAG model um, systems. As long as your Xbox is modded, then you could start on this. Speaking of prerequisites, everything that I will state will be in a link in the description down below. And any useful websites or anything I use in this video, of course, just like any of my other videos, will be in a link in the description down below as well so of course first things first you need a modded xbox 360 whether if it's a jtag or rgh model as long as your system is hard modded or it has a hard modded chip system in it then you're good to go um as well you need xtx menu version 1.2 you also need xbox 360 neighborhood that is optional if you want to transfer your files that way or follow zilla but for today we're just going to be using a usb as well you need renoir if you need to extract any of our files that we're going to be using today like since some of them are in that zip and raw um you know basically file extensions as well you need any um xbox game that is in an iso or folder format most xbox games if you get them online or you dump them yourself will be in a folder format already but make sure your um xbox title games are in folder format today the game we're going to be testing is jet set radio future and speaking on basically compatibility for xbox games um not all will work but with this um modded um xbox original 2018 emulator build that zip which i'll be talking about later it will basically allow certain or basically more um xbox games to run rather than on an original xbox 360 so what i mean by that is with these updated um hacked files that was created by matthew or excuse me matthew um basically it will allow you to run games that was never originally supposed to run on the xbox 360 since um the xbox 360 original backup compatible or basically backwards compatibility um list had a whitelist so only a certain amount of titles could run however when you install these files onto your device which i'll show you guys later on today in this video you basically have a higher chance of rate to run those games that were never originally was supported by xbox 360 for their um microsoft's compatibility list as well for this process you need hdd compatibility partition fixer which basically allows you on your xbox 360 to install a partition on your hard drive so basically um the actual emulator or these hack files could sit on to that partition of your hard drive i know it sounds kind of crazy right now but i'll explain a little bit more in detail later on in the video and then last but not least what i was just talking about you'll need the xbox original two excuse me 2018 emulator dot build zip which contains the latest hacked xbox emulation files with all of that getting out the way i just want to give a special thanks out to shadow bullet and as well as matthew for creating this um new hacked exploit for the emulation build so we could play you know other original xbox titles on our 360 but with that being stated out the way we're going to go ahead and get started on the pc side of things first Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, let's go ahead and get started on the PC side of things first. Before we even get into um, installing our games and all of and talking about all of these three files right here, I do want to explain one thing before we even get started. So let me open up my browser and this will probably make more sense when I get to explain it since I felt like I didn't explain it, you know, really well in the intro. But this website right here, unfortunately, I couldn't get the original Xbox Microsoft back backwards compatibility list on you know just regular searching it up on google since that link is down now surprisingly so i had to use way back time machine but this was at one point the official um list that was from on microsoft's website from their support website and you can see all of the original xbox games that were playable from the xbox 360 and as stated here this hasn't been updated since uh, as of november 2007 and you can see that um no additional original xbox games will be added to this list so whatever this list stated from a whole seven basically was you know the only games you could play on a original xbox 360 that was not modded however with um the xbox compatibility um original emulation build that i have here 
made from Matthew, um, you are allowed to play more titles that were never supported. But however, you can see if I uh, scroll up on this list, Jet Set Radio Future, the game I'm testing today, um, it will work since it's already, you know, it works originally with the Xbox 360. But um, I'm trying to think of a game that possibly would work that it's not on this list. Midnight Club 2, I think will work since I had a friend test that for me. Um, I think Midnight Club 3 will work as well, but other games will work since um, this list is just a white list that only contain um, games that were supported from Microsoft themselves that were that made it. So hopefully y'all guys did understand that explanation, but what I'm gonna do is just close on my Chrome browser and we're gonna go ahead and get started on you know the side of things on a pc so i have my game here you can see it's jet set radio future you can see we have the default.xbe this is the eboot.bin i guess or i'm talking about playstation stuff but this is the executable file that you will need to run to start this game up on your xbox 360 but what we're going to do right now is go in the link in the description down below i will both have links to these files that would just be in dot zips all you will have to do is right click over this file go into extract files here we're gonna go ahead and hit ok and where it says HDD compatibility partition fixer version 1 just have that right here it should contain these files right here you'll just run the default.xex file onto xex menu and we'll basically create a partition on our system so we can run original Xbox games you want to also right click over Xbox original emulation and then Right here, there are two builds of this um, original emulator. So go ahead and read the README. This is from Matthew himself. He goes into great detail that this does work for RGH, GTAG, and DevKit systems. I do recommend having a read of this. And there are two versions that um, are basically for this. So what there are, let me read this real quick. See where it says new feature census release he added a new in-game hud support or hud support so basically what that means you will be able to access the xbox 360 in-game menu while you're playing your original titles so if you guys remember ever playing an original xbox 3 or excuse me our original xbox uh, game on your 360 that was never modded um you'll basically get a menu that will state that you could just only turn off the system however with this um you could basically access your in-game menu with the 360 which is pretty cool um there are also external resources so no longer getting unloaded while running the zifu emulator so basically so uh, features with aurora fsd hud add-ons will work in the emulator as well which is pretty cool and there's some other stuff that is added in here i'm not really going to read all through this stuff just because you know it will take a while and i'm trying to make this video quick but what we're going to do now is all you would have to do is in either install the 64 megabyte build or you could install the 128 megabyte build if i go into here i feel uh yeah the 64 megabyte version is fully tested the 180 or excuse me 128 megabyte version remains experimental but for today we're just going to be using the 64 megabyte one so once you um you know read through that stuff uh you have everything extracted out let's go ahead and plug in a usb into our pc here i'm going to use my sony one right here and what you want to do now is just right click over it go into properties and make sure your thing is stated to fat32 if your thing says it's on ntfs or xfat just go ahead cancel make sure to back up any data on your hard drive to like another usb or onto another device or onto your desktop since reformatting your hard drive to another file system will erase all your data so what you need to do now is just right click over your system go into format make sure your capacity is the highest if you think with an ntfs or xfat as i stated go ahead and hit fat32 you can do default allocation size volume label this is what you could just label your usb as i just has my his name to sony make sure your things on quick format hit start then it will just give you a warning that states formatting will erase all your data which i just stated back up your stuff then all you got to do is hit okay and then once from here all you would need to do now is just wait for the um little notification that will pop up on the screen hit okay on quick format and then all you need to do now is just open up the file explorer then from here um open up sony or your usb drive and just transfer all of our three contents right here onto our usb and then what i'm going to do is cut the video and then come back once it's fully done but 
from here what we're going to do once it's done check that all of our files are here and then open up the 360 and then get everything installed alrighty guys so let's go ahead and check back onto the USB as shown here you can see all of my files are now into my USB that is formatted to FAT32 so let's just check over our properties now all we got to do is just right click over here where it says safely remove hard drive and media or hardware and inject media let's go ahead and safely eject our USB since we already got our contents on it but now what we need to do is just go to our PC and then or excuse me not our pc but our 360 plug in our usb and then let's get started on the pc side of things or 360 side of things Alrighty guys so as showcased here we basically are back onto our xbox 360s what you need to do now is just make sure your controller is on of course make sure your usb stick is in your modded xbox 360 with the contents we just transferred over via from our pc to the actual usb and now what we need to do is go to my games launch xcx menu version 1.2 if you do not already have xcx menu already installed i will have the link in the description down below of course on how to install that but for this process i'm already assuming that you already have it installed onto your device so just go ahead and hit a and then once xcx menu fully boots up what we're going to do is hit rb on our controller and if everything goes correctly and your thing is formatted to uh, fat32 you should see all of your data onto this drive so you should see your game of choice which is in folder format you should also see a cd compatibility partition fixer as well you should see xbox original emulation 2018 build first thing what we need to transfer is the acd compatibility partition fixer version one so all we need to do is hit Y over our folder, hit A to copy, hit right on the D-pad. Then from here, what we need to do is just hit Y again, paste. And then if you already have it installed or basically you just need to rewrite over it. So that's what I did here. Next thing, what we need to do is go ahead and put our game of choice in here. So what you could do is hit Y over our... Um, basically into this folder acd1 go ahead and hit create and you can label um a new folder to xbox original games or xbox one games or you know whatever you want to since i've already um you know done that step before i don't really need to do it for this process so as showcased here i already have my original xbox classic games into this one directory right here so if we hit left back on our d-pad go to our game of choice which is jet set radio hit y hit copy so hit a over that and then scroll back to wherever you want to put your games on you can even put it on acd1 i just like to have mine in a nice indie folder so i'm just going to paste my files right here so what it's doing now is or copying all of my um files for jet set radio and then what i'm going to do is pause the video right here and then before we even get started on loading and launching the game up we need to go ahead and run a cd um partition compatibility list so let's go ahead and get that started Alrighty, so as showcased here, you can see all of my games content are now into my one folder on via on ACD1. So here is Jet Set Radio. Before we even get to play it, let's go ahead and back out from here. So let me hit circle. And what we need to do is go ahead and run the actual backup um, or ACD partition or excuse me, compatibility partition folder within ACD1. So go ahead and scroll over to that folder, hit A run the default.xeex file so right now you'll get this little folder and it will say warning this app will erase the original xbox compatibility partition after creating it its partition entries you have been warned basically what is that saying is if you ever have like the original xbox emulator files from microsoft themselves it'll just wipe them so you could replace them with the actual modded one so all for this process you got to just hit a so what it will do is basically erase all the partitions from that sector and we'll just wait for it to do its thing. So it's fully done now. All you got to do is hit B to exit. And then once it's um, exiting out, it'll take you back onto the regular dashboard. Or if you have a raw or something, it'll take you back to that dashboard. But what you need to do is go ahead back into my games, rerun XEX menu version 1.2. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and install the actual um, compatibility file. So from right here, all we need to do is hit RB, 
go into our USB zero where our files are located at. Go ahead and hit A. Um, the 128 megabyte files are um, experimental. However, the 64 megabyte ones purely work. So let's go ahead and hit A over that file. And now you can install whatever version you want. So if you just want the plain regular um, Xbox compatibility files and without the HUD features, then you could just go ahead and copy this folder. So if you go into it, you can just copy the um, actual compatibility folder itself. But what we need to do now is since I want the HUD one, what we're gonna do is hit A over this compatibility file right here, hit Y, copy, go back and hit uh, right on your D-pad right again and where it says hdx this is the partition where original xbox games will be going to so go ahead and hit paste so for this process that is done now what you can do is go ahead and hit rb scroll all the way down to xbox 360 uh, classic games i'm gonna go ahead and run jet set radio future or wherever you have your games located at just fine in whatever folder and what we're gonna do is run the default.xbe There'll be a black screen, but as showcased here, here is the original Xbox games booting up normally. So as of right now, you can see that my original Xbox games are working on the internal HDD device. So if I go ahead and have my menu open, you can see before um, that it purely works in real life time. I could see all of my, uh, you know, guide information and stuff right here before if i didn't have that installed what will happen is you just have to either turn off the console or it'll just go back straight into the original dashboard so if you wanted to play and party for whatever reason or you know check out other settings you can which is very useful so here is jet set radio running in live time i'll just play some more of it so yep here's jet set radio future running perfectly what we're going to do as well just to show you that um, this does run off my internal hard drive. So let's say if you got your internal hard drive set up via FAT32, go into my games, XEX menu version 1.2. And then from here, if I go over USB zero, try to run the game via from my, uh, you know, external hard drive, default.xbe, it will automatically work the same. So look at it booting normally. And then, yeah, that's essentially how you could run games via or original Xbox games on your modded Xbox 360 via off an external and internal device. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comment section down below and make sure to share this if you guys did enjoy this. But with that being said, my name is Nagato and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in the mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace nice and silky smooth